I use um, some real good seasoning here. The Spice Supreme fish seasoning. I like it a lot. And um, it's just very nice. I, I just enjoy it. And I enjoy my lemon pepper. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some fish seasoning on. Now prior to this, I lightly coated my fish with a vinegar oil. Okay, um, I'm sorry, not vinegar oil, but a garlic oil. Just a light coating. Okay, I'm going to put some of this on here. Now just so you know, I did put a little bit of this earlier on here. I let it sit a uh, half hour. A little lemon seasoning. And, and you know, that's really all it takes. It doesn't take much. It's amazing how this comes out. Um, a little pepper. People say pepper on salmon. You gotta be kidding. No, it's actually pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna place this puppy in my basket here. Just the right time. You can't hear the searing. That's how I like to do it, just nice and low. Okay. Now we're gonna get the chicken going here. Okay. chicken we're going to start the searing process okay my grill has been on and I'm going to add my barbecue sauce in just a little bit Camera over here. I'm going to 
focus on this very quickly. Okay, now we're back. We're going to do the potatoes. Okay, I oil them a little bit with um, garlic and oil. And now I use a uh, tastefully simple product that's fantastic for french fries, and I love it on my baked potatoes. So we're going to do this. Now for this, it's um, very easy to do, okay, very simple. I like to use simplified methods, okay. I'm just going to take a little spray of canola, just to top it. Just to freshen it up a little bit, okay. Because the oil has the tendency to soak into the potato a little bit. Alright, now I use a malt vinegar also on this. Really tastefully simple, has awesome products. Okay, now let's check our chicken here. Might be able to turn it a little bit. Look at that. Golden brown. Got the char marks. Okay, that's gonna cook real good. Okay. I'm gonna put a baked potato here. And don't worry, your potatoes are gonna cook. Potatoes, they always cook. Salmon, not quite. Good. Okay, so we're going to let this go for just a little bit, all right? Then we'll be back. Hmm. Okay, getting ready to baste the chicken. I use a Korean barbecue base. Uh, base. Bogolsi base. It's awesome stuff, man. Okay, this stuff is great. Pour a little bit in there. Okay, we're going to baste that chicken now because we've already cooked this one side a little bit. Oh, the salmon is doing pretty good, man. Yep, almost there. Okay. Potatoes, I know, are doing good. I'm going to rotate them a little bit. And we'll get back to this. I'll show you a picture of how it looks. Okay, we're back. Okay. I just turned my salmon. Alright. I'm going to rotate the chicken a little bit. And I'm 
I'm going to marinate the other side again. this again. That's doing good. We'll rotate the potatoes a little bit. Put them up here. Mm, it's a little hot. Just gonna leave them to cook, and we got the fish to do just a couple more minutes. And I'm gonna get my rice out for my fish, okay? And I'm gonna have that salmon with a nice garnish with that. And, and you know, baked potato starchy, okay, and rice is starchy, but there's nothing wrong with having. A little rice with a baked potato, you know. I mean, you can put sour cream on your baked potato. You can do it a couple little different ways. That's all. And it's all good. Okay. Put my rice away. I'm going to garnish this with some of my fresh scallion onions. I grow them. So when you cut them, I grow them right away over there with Thai basil and some other spices. And I cut them right away because I, I like them fresh. They, they, they have so much aroma as you're cutting and cooking. It's just beautiful. Okay. My salmon should be almost done. Go just a tiny bit more. Not much. And got to get my thrifty little spatula here. Okay. So, all right. Some don't take long to do. loosened from the tracks. I like to get that part a little bit, just a little extra cooking in there, you know, and it just sort of you know, enhances it. It doesn't take much. Not at all. we have got a hit of coffee. Mmm. Yeah, gotta have that coffee. Okay. And I think we got it. Okay. 
going. We'll shut that off. Potato. I want to put a baked potato here. Since I'm doing fish, I'm going to do just a, a small potato on each side of the rice. Just a little one. Okay. some pictures of this, that's for sure. It came out very well. Oh yeah, salmon, baked potato, rice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now that we've been cooking for a little bit, the chicken is done. All right. <clears throat> done. I like it. Well done. Chicken on the plate. Plate that chicken. And we're going to add baked potato. Just the right amount. Okay. And of course, gotta have some homegrown scallions with that rice. So good. And we're going to get back to you in just a little bit. And I'm going to show you some pictures. We'll do a slide of it. Oh, yeah. There you have it. Grilled salmon. Grilled baked potato. With a side of rice. With fresh scallions from my garden. Sweet. That's going to taste very, very good. There you go, folks. Grilled Korean chicken with baked grilled baked potato. And of course, you gotta have some rice with scallion. Okay, that always goes good. Yes, that Korean barbecue sauce is awesome. <laughs>